Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm loving this fun stuff over here. I can't wait to see what Matthias thinks about this using his design and this is so cool. You know, I am kind of wondering, like, if we have this many ships, we might, and if they have multiple ships per line, which they, well, actually, they might not, because as we have seen with the previous, like, the uh, titanium production up here, the patches are so small, they don't actually generate much. So even though this ship has a really long um, sailing time, let's see, how much is in there? We have one box of titanium stuffs. Wow. That's not a lot. <laughs> that is not a lot. Oh, how? Why does it have 74 empty ones? Can you imagine this entire trip there and back and only has one box of titanium stuff? That's nuts. So I'm anticipating really not needing more than one ship just because of how slow the mining is. And I'm guessing we might need to put in... Oh my god, I have so much landfill. No! Okay, hold on get rid of this. Uh, I'm guessing that we we basically just need to... Um, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Had to do with... <laughs> Jesus. I completely forgot. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, we'll see what we get. Okay, let's take the hovercraft over there. Um, I'm going to take the ship over there as well. Actually, do we... Do we need to... Can we... Oh yeah, this is also not... Did we name this port yet? No, we didn't. Obedience. Whoa, that's harsh. Um... Oh, we need to find a good, good name for this. You know what? I, I, it's not a port, I don't believe, but it's, it's a line on the, uh, on the train that I often take in um, near Stockholm. Fleming's by. Uh, there we are. Fleming's by. Uh, what are we calling this again? This is going to be copper pickup. Actually, so we're we're gonna we're gonna name this Fleming's by Hum. Uh, remember, Hum means port. So we need to be having it correctly named here. We're going to get copper ore. It could take a thousand plates, but I don't think we need it. I think this. This ship is big enough to handle many crates. So we're going to take this ship, set the schedule for Fleming's Body Hum. Uh, all right. And then we want to do inactivity and also item count, cargo, copper ore, greater than zero. And, okay. And here we're going to do also inactivity because we're going to get the fueling happening over here. Uh, what I'm thinking with the fueling, maybe we change this coal line to be the, um, solid fuel. Okay. And then we're also going to be item count, cargo, empty boxes, um, greater than or equal to 20. Okay, so that means we need to load these cargo thingies onto the ship. Oh, ah, uh, wow. Okay, how do we want to do this? I'm guessing we could do a variation on one of these guys. I think we decided to to bust the materials via a... Um, oh, I need to pick up this car as well. We can't pick them up for the deconstruction platter? Huh. I always thought you could. Weird. You could pick up trains with one. That's very strange. Um, all right. So I think the best thing, we do have plenty of room for belts and I think belt is going to have to be on a belt anyway. We don't really care about the cost. So I think it's perfectly okay to take belts, um, to that end. Why don't we make a couple of belts here? Just like three of them. How about that? Let's see. Let's take these three belts. Actually, you know what? Let's make it four. Let's just make it four. Okay, and then we'll do a corner up there. It'll be fine. Let's copy these four belts. This is probably not just copper. 
I think this is for everything. Okay, so these belts, I think we come up and over that way. So let's just take these down here this way. Okay, this is going to be a lot of investment with the, um, <laughs> the belt production in our factory, that's for sure. I think we might be able to get through that or we just find other ways to go across. But here is our main line here. Let's just do it this way. It's easier. It is actually easier. Okay, cool. Nice. And we'll fix that in a bit. Now, uh, so that's the belts going out. Now we also need, we need fuel coming in, which is going to be the coal. Oh, that's why it's only half a belt. That's interesting. Um, so this coal, we're going to delete that because we want to actually make this a line with the, um, whatchamacallit, solid fuel. So how are we going to get the solid fuel down here? I think what we need to do is... Um, yeah, this goes, this is, this is a bit tight up here, but it is fine. I mean, it does work. What we could do is just grab this. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go up there and fix it, I think. Um, but in, in any case, let us, we need to take a belt. Okay. We need two belts coming down, right? Just two. Two belts coming down. Let's get rid of this pole. Let's just put this in here. Okay, let's paint over the gaps. Looks like we still missed one of them. I don't know how that happened, but it's okay. Who built this factory? <laughs> Who even knows, man? Okay, uh, let's get this here. So now we have this thing, and that's going to be here going in. As I said, one of these is going to be fuel. The other is going to be the, um, the crates. Okay. Let me just take this out. Uh, okay. So we'll, we'll get this done. I think what we'll do is we'll leave this for now and we will go, uh, to the other side and f make the copper mine. And then I want to, oh, actually, let's just get in our hovercraft right now so we can save some time. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 don't run into stuff, please. <laughs> All right, let's kill the trees. That'll be fine. And we're going to go along the, um, the lines here just to make sure, let's just wait for the robots because they might have build orders and then they get confused and then life is worse and all that kind of stuff. Okay, there we go. Let's go along the line here, make sure that every rail is in place so that we don't have any, actually we should have every rail in place because we were able to get the schedule to go to Fleming's body. So I'm, I'm happy with that. It's quite good. It is quite a distance, uh, to the next port. Holy buzz cats. But I think the fuel should work because it, um, it's three times as the amount of coal, uh, and, uh, we are, this is not three times the distance as the coal place. So, or as the, uh, uh titanium place, pardon me. I mean, but it might be a thing where we need to build like refueling ports that might actually, uh, happen. Gosh, this is so far. It's crazy far. The drift on this thing is kind of wild. All right, we're getting there. I mean, I guess what I could do is in the shallow waters, I could build like separate radar stations just to keep track of stuff, but I don't think we really need it. Oh, wait, is this floating over the signals? <gasps> wow, we don't have to crash into signals anymore. This is great. 
Oh my god. <laughs> How excited am I for this? Oh, but we are crashing into those. Okay, let's not do that. Let's just get out here and we can just chill. Okay, so um, what we need to do is we don't actually need this part here because we don't need the train and we just need the... Um, we need loading and unloading of uh, copper. So I want to plop down a mining situation. Actually, let's plop down this. Let's stand in the middle here and look through our blueprints while we're plopping that down. So we're going to go for raw resources. Let's go with these. That's a nice little blueprint. Uh, it's a repeatable blueprint, so you can press shift um, and it will... Wait, did I not get enough? No. Wow. Okay. Apparently I don't have enough accumulators. That's wild. I thought we would have had everything done by now. All right. Well, there's some missing on that side, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get them as we go on that side again. Oh my God. So many trees. Help. <laughs> Help. Trees. Yo. This is quite a, a sizable patch considering the, the size that we've seen. All right. So let's just plop this this way. I really like these blueprints, by the way. They're fun because you can just plop them uh, like puzzle pieces only as far as you need to go. You just basically hold the mouse button down as you hold shift. So they're quite uh, workable and I like that. Looks like we did run out of miners and that's okay. We will be fine. Let's go down here and grab these. Okay, are we good? We are good. Now power pole and connect it to the grid. Yay. All right. So time to connect all the stuff. Okay. So we have, see, so probably one, two, three, four, five, I would say maybe six, uh, six mining lines. So how many container loaders is that? Hmm. Uh, I don't even know. I could put speed modules in them as well. Uh, what I would like to do, let's see how many, actually what I could do is just figure out how much is the throughput here. So this is 68. Isn't it 30, 60, 90? So all these would probably go quite well on one belt, these guys. Okay, that's one belt. How about these? This is two almost full ones. That's 84. Okay, so maybe we leave those by themselves. How about this one? That's 75. Okay, I think what we'll do is leave them as this. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we'll do a five to uh, four, maybe. I think that's probably... No, maybe five to six or five to five. Let me Let me count again. So if we're saying 60, so that's 40, no, four times 60. So probably five to four. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's get our, um, blueprint book for the belts and balancers. So we need want to do yellow, uh, red. We'll do five to four. I really love how handy these are. They're pretty great. Okay. So there is our thing. We'll get in our belts here. Of course, those need the miners to support them. And we need ghosts. Ha! <laughs> Darn it, we didn't take enough. Uh, it looks like we might need to improve this to like 800, I'm thinking. Gosh, and it's such a long way back. Uh, uh, it's okay though. All right. Uh, what I wanted to look at is getting a loading system like this. Um, wait, what? Oh, this is making lead plates. Okay, that we did that on purpose. Okay, great. Great. So, um, let's grab these and put them here. So this is going to be our loading thing. Should we put it closer? I guess it doesn't matter. Um, well, it sort of matters in the number of belts. So let's go with this. 
Just kind of center it a bit. Um, all right, so this one is going to go here. This one is going to go there. We're going to replace all of these blue inserters with the proper green ones. I think four green ones will definitely work this. Okay, so let's replace the yellow belts. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Did the wrong upgrader thingy, I think. No, I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Okay. Um, what do we do? Does this upgrade? I wonder if the standard upgrades it to green. Yeah, sure does. And these don't need to be upgraded at all. Okay. So uh, what I'm thinking is with these belts going out, we can just even have one belt. Um, it doesn't need to be fancy. It can just do this kind of thing. And these can point here and there. So shift, copy, paste, copy, paste. Okay. These are backward. So we need to figure out those. Okay. Okay, right. So this is the belt coming in with the containers. This is the belt with uh, the thingy majingies. Okay, nice. And then belt with containers is this one. Okay, so belt with containers is here. Okay. Oh, actually, yeah, this way I guess is fine. There we go. Okay, so containers go there. And the raw, or not raw, I guess they're not that raw. <laughs> They're fairly baked and cooked, these containers. It's fine. Um, those go up on that, uh, enabling them to go into the thing. Yep, that's correct. Perfect. Nice. That's what we need. Okay, so this is our, you know what, I can probably copy this as well. Um, I'll just copy the whole thing. Put it in our blueprint book for stuffing things for islands. All right, and these guys also need power and it needs a lot of work. It needs much stuff. So where did I put my vehicle? I've lost it again. Wow, it drifted all the way there? Oh no, <laughs> whoops. All right, it's fine. It wanted to go back home. <laughs> it wanted to go back home. <laughs> All right, hopefully our factory has produced enough belts to link the other stuff um, together. It is spotty. Okay, it's not great. And apparently this area isn't covered by any, um, yeah, any kind of uh, building stuff. All right, so let's get that going. Give our ship some momentum again. Okay. How's this stuff up here? Is this covered? I don't know about this stuff over here. This is a bit iffy. Feels like. Okay. It's hard to see exactly the top limit. Let's just do this. That's fine. And we are so far away on this hovercraft. I, I feel like we need supersonic stuff. And I guess that's what the airplane is for. But it feels kind of like... I don't know. It doesn't feel very efficient. You know? Like, it doesn't feel like efficient travel. And I don't know about 
about planes and Factorio. I kind of feel like they don't belong, but I might, I, I don't know, I might change my mind. I haven't tried one yet. It just feels like a little bit too high tech or something. I know we have rockets, but for some reason that seems different in my head. I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what I need to do? I need to craft repair packs. Can you please bots fix me? Help. <laughs> oh my god, I almost killed my vehicle. That would have been terrible. Actually, I need to go up and get some of these belts myself. Let's see if we can engineer that. Okay, straight through the trees. That's the way to go. Ooh, okay. Let's pick it up. All right. Getting rid of a lot of stuff, adding a lot of stuff. I think we might need more. Oh, wow. Green circuits are full? How can they be full? Oh, probably because I have, uh, I need to distribute science. Hmm. That'd be a tasty adventure. And this is the logistics system. That sounds amazing. 126 packs. What, what is going wrong now? We don't have enough of robot frames. What are you like guys lacking? Batteries? Because lead again? Wow. Okay. So what is going on with the lead? I wonder, is it producing at all? It seems like it's not. Why not? Item ingredient shortage. There's not enough boxes. Oh, <gasps> wait, how is it unloading full boxes onto this thing? I don't get this. Where is that going wrong? Uh, okay, we need to fix that problem. That is that is a bad problem. That's kind of beyond. Uh, let's wait and f wait for it to fix itself because this is like it ain't gonna fix itself, man. This ain't gonna fix itself. Um, can we do anything over here with stuff and things? Probably not. I'm guessing it's a gear problem. Looks like we're having a bit of a gear shortage. Um, I think what I can do though is make it a little bit higher throughput by increasing these belts here a little bit faster. Let's get these uh, guys here. Though, um, I don't know if it'll make too much difference because I think we're a bit out of, <laughs> we're a bit out of ore. We need to um, kind of find more places to get iron ore. We did bring those nuggets back, but I don't... Did we bring them? Uh, yeah, we put them in a, in a box, as I recall. We didn't do anything with them. Probably should. We don't actually have any kind of transport for them either. All right, so something has gone very wrong here. And I don't know how it's happened. So let's see what is what is going on here. These can go that way. How? Okay. I'm gonna give these some crates so I can hold more of the naughty crates. No, 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 no. Okay, so this one is effectively full. What is it waiting on? Okay, or inactivity. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put some more in here. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take them with me and give our factory a good boost. I don't know how this has gotten mixed though. That is so surprising because everything that goes onto this line is empty. This one has an empty filter. Oh, it's this. No. Oh, okay. So this one was circling back around. Oh, okay. We found it. <laughs> we found the mistake. 
it's okay. It happens. Things like that happen. And it's sometimes it's hard to see. I mean, you have this pattern that you go with and it works and it's like, okay, this is great. Um, and then it's kind of like, oh dear, that wasn't working as quite as I expected it to. Also, we need to get the line for the, um, the other stuff in as well. The, uh, solid fuel. I keep envisioning it in my mind. I see it. It's like, you know, gray block, solid fuel. How hard is that to remember? Well, apparently harder, harder than you may think. Mm -hmm. Okay. 12. Wow. Okay. So that is... This is actually blocked by boxes. Too many boxes. I think we need to change this setup. I don't like this. I think what we need is we need um, filter inserters to put out stuff. And we're going to change them into lead. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. And these are going to be these are the far side. And then this one is going to be for the other stuff. We're going to take this off. We don't need it anymore uh, because we, yeah, there we go. So this is only going to handle boxes and not any part of the ore. And that is going to help this hugely, I feel. Okay. So we got a bit of ore. Let's chuck it into the thingy that will get it where it needs to go. All right. Happiness ish. So this is effectively what we need to do from the boat, right? So let's see, what, what are we doing from the boat? So we need to grab the containers from the boat, which is going to be a regular kind of thing like this. And then we get our boxes. And from here, we can directly feed the factory. We can have, it's like these ones here. So let's copy this. And then the rest just goes out to the world. Um, I will keep the recycling for the containers in the blueprint. I think, yeah. Let's keep that in here. All right, let's go into map mode. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place it down and then I'm going to reconstruct it, I think. That's what I, I think we should do. Okay, so let's get these containers. Oopsies. Nye, come on. What? Something's run out of fuel again. Oh, no. What has run out of fuel? Help. Oh, my God. Why? All right, gotta go fix it. <laughs> it's like, uh, that is so strange that it like, why did it run out of fuel? Like we, we've had these trains have been running for hours. Why did they run out of fuel? I don't quite understand. There's something must be going on. Did we change? We changed one of the schedules. Um, let's look at the schedule of this said train. And see what it says. Base copper ore, copper drop off, and or we could do or um, we need to do and no, no we can do thirty seconds I guess. <sighs> We need to do here. This one would be item count would be cargo copper greater than zero. Okay. This one is going to be cargo this greater than eight. Okay. And this one equals zero. So we have to drop everything off and we can do instead of, and we can do, um, 
add weight condition. We want to do inactivity, I think. And five seconds of inactivity or 30 seconds past. Okay, so it should have been able to load the fuel in that time. I don't really see why it hasn't. All right, it'll be fine. No worries. We will fix it somehow. Magically. <laughs> Magically. I want to get the fuel down there right now. This is a bit fiddly, so that's why I've come up here myself, because it's a bit crowded at the top here. So this one goes that way. This one is going to go there, and you're going to go to the right. There we go. We need to make sure this is in our um, RoboPort construction zone. There it is. Okay. So we can just place that one there. Anywhere in the green mark is constructible. The orange color is for logistics coverage. So we need to just make sure that this is in the green zone, but the, the orange parts have to be touching. That's the critical bit because otherwise, if they're not touching, then, uh, the robots can't kind of follow the lines of connection between the robo ports. So the robo ports have to have this, this dotted yellow line, which means they are touching and connected. So let's get another RoboPort up here somewhere. Okay, we can actually connect them there. All right, so that means we can actually get this entire area, uh, the belt placed down automatically by robots, and we don't have to come up here again uh, when that finishes. So I want to connect this now to the other belt that I took. Where did it go? Did we actually take one up here? I don't think so. No, I think we stopped out here. So let's see, let's bring it up. Okay, let's get this. Any of the working lines, I'm going to put in the, um, the under, under, pardon me, undergroundies. They kind of can be skipped until they're actually needed because we don't need everything immediately. Okay. All right. Put this one here. Just kind of like looking at you know, like where does it go again? Goes from the there to the there. Wait till these batteries go by. Okay, cool. So we have stuff we end, we have things. So that is going to get our fuel into the new line. So this goes this way. Okay, fine. But no, 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 no. We don't need this all the way down here either. No, 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 no. We need it to come in here. That's basically the only place we need it to come in. Okay, and that is going to fill these whole areas now. Instead of coal, we're going to have solid fuel. Looks like we've eaten pretty much all of it. That's a bit 
wild. Um, so plastic is working well, <laughs> as we see. Okay. All right. So this is the end of the the fuel line. So we'll take it down from here. Dang it. This rock is stopping me. So did we assign one of these to be for the, um, for the crates? Yes. The crates are going to be on the outside one. So the inside one can be the fuel. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and erase that because that's a lot of belt resources that we don't actually need to place down and they can go to other places. Same with this line here. We don't actually need any of this. Right? Right. I was like, wait, we put undergrounds. We were serious about this once upon a time. Okay. Nice. So the bots will take care of that. And meanwhile, we can feed this to the ships. Let's go and take care of these, this corner and this intersection here. Okay. All right. Okay. These go the opposite way. I'm going to copy this group, shift copy and get rid of the rails. Cause that's going to mess us up a tiny bit. Get rid of the power pole. We will reconstruct that in a second, possibly with two of them or just one. Okay. Very nice. Get rid of this power or light lamp, whatever. It's a thing. Okay. So let's, we need to look at the feeding of the various things right now. Um, we were going to reconstruct this whole thing. So I want to do that right now. We need to get rid of these bits, all of these things right now. Uh, okay. So these all take from the factory. This puts back onto the thing. So this one is going to go out, right? What is this for? Oh, that's the fuel. All right. That can actually stay as fuel. But we need to move it back. Let's see, get this back. Um, and then this is, this is not needed over here. What we're going to do is we're going to load the ship with these and we're going to have a, a limit on how much the ship can take. Um, and that's going to be connected to the port signal. I think this is kind of what we want. This of course is going to come in from this side. This is going to be our extra boxes. And we're going to need to have a similar kind of this situation. Uh, let's just make this that. So this one is going to be connected to this box, I think. And if the box, if the box is less than 15, it will put more on the belt to be in the box. These are all lined up. Okay. So let's put this near our, or into our thingy here. There we go. And that is the actual construction, except for, I need to change. Oh, we need to change these to filter inserters. Of course we do. Um, and match the product that we're doing. So we're getting copper out. Oh, not, excuse me. Thank you. Unloading copper. And these are going to be copper boxes. There we go. Okay. 
And then this one is going to be linked to the port itself. So I think I can just link it this way. Uh, okay. Let's put in another pull over there. So this is going to be read ship contents. Oh, no. This one is going to be read ship contents. Read train count. No, read train contents. And if the train, or ship in this case, um, we want to enable disable if boxes. Oh, wait, we forgot to load the fuel. Fuel goes here. Okay, so this is still content. So we need to do boxes greater than or equal to 20. I think that's what we decided. Or should it be 30? Let's do 30. Okay, and then we need the fuel to come in over here. Because apparently we forgot that part. Uh, I'll just do a regular thing. Let me do this to like reach. This is going to be the fueling thing here. All right. Uh, how far are we? Just need to get. Okay. So we still need this power pole. I should just put this in the middle here because anytime I always forget it because it's kind of far away. Okay. Nice. So fuel, copper, and boxes. Nice. So boxes are going to be here. Then the fuel is going to be there. Okay, cool. And then the copper can be on any of the other ones going out. So we'll just kind of like go this way and this will be our copper. And that means we can delete all of this bit going down here. Let's not delete the power structure. That would not be ideal. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. So now we have a little bit of belts to, to not play with because we have run out of belts. <laughs> oh, it's so funny that. Okay, so did we get accumulators? I wonder if the reason why we hadn't had any is because we had no batteries. How is that plant doing? Is it fixed? Are you a happy plant? Hello? No? Yeah, it is. It is working. Are they all working? Three of them are working. I should have upgraded these inserters. I don't even know why I didn't think to. Um, we need to upgrade those and put in... You know what? I'll go up there right now. There's no reason not to. I guess I can use my little hovercraft as well. Oh, okay. Thought, thought the other side was up. <laughs> Oh, rocks, rocks, help. Love to hit the trees. It's fine. Oh, rock. Ah, oh, what is up with these, all these rocks? This is why I hate driving a car in Factorio. All the dang rocks. Otherwise, I guess I can clear the entire area. Um, that might also be an option. Maybe I should clear like a siding on the edge of the railroad. Kind of ruin the view from the railroad, but we don't really take it that often. Okay, let's go here and we're going to replace all those. And then I'm going to add speed modules. Wait, do these not work? Only efficiency? What? No, man. Come on. That's annoying. Okay. All righty. We'll play by your rules. Normally, machines, um, they might disallow productivity modules, but they almost always allow uh, speed. So I was kind of disappointed there just now at uh, what I did not expect. Eventually, we'll kill all the trees. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh no you know what let's do trees and rocks 
Just kill all the trees and rocks on this side of the thing. We'll have like a little corridor right along the side of the railway. It'll be fine. Okay. I, I don't know which way to stop. Oh my god. Eh. Press enter. Get out. Take the car. I can't. I have too much stuff. Okay. I think we have too much stuff. We need to... Probably these are full. No, they're not full. But we could use some more anyway. Just on the off chance. Oh my god. Alright. Let's put solid fuel into the... To here. Okay. God, I have so much stuff. Come on, bots. Take stuff from me, please. Let's go. I feel like I really need time to let the factory catch up with me. Do I have any space? No. So I guess fish can also go. Um... Lead also can go. We can build recycling for that later. Oh my god, they're still collecting. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. It'll be fine. Wait, why did that train leave? That was confusing. Oh wait, that's titanium. Okay. I think I thought it was a plastic train though that left. Let's find out about that one. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Huh. No, this cargo has to e it has to be zero. There's no reason to have that 30 seconds there. Here you go here because you didn't finish your job, dude. Come on. Okay, finally my inventory is more suited to being something. Okay, so when we have the copper from here, this is going on belts, the end of the four belts. All right, that's fine. Oopsies. Um... We can just take it up this way because it's going to go there anyway. Let's just go back over this ground because I, there's some parts that it looks like it's like, eh, did it? No, there. See? That one needed to be fixed. Okay. Sorry, stuff. You're going to have to go. So here we go with this. All right. Here we go. Keeps like quitting out on me. This is driving me crazy. Dude, when I press shift, just do a shift thing, please. Oh, that's so so weird the way that works. I don't like it. That that was not great. Okay. So we're gonna do a shift of lanes here to make sure that we have all the stuff all up to the closest lane on the bus. Okay, and then we'll do that there. Well, technically we should do it here, I guess. If we do it this and then we do another one of those. And then those are all pointing to the north side. Okay, this is looking really good. All of our circuits. 
We're really not getting a lot of um, stuff, are we? Wow, these are old machines as well. I'm going to upgrade these. I don't know why they're old machines. That's so silly. Now they can't even hold modules. Okay, so let's go. Let's give you some some nice tasty speed modules and you'll make more stuff. Excellent. This is good. Okay, so we made a heck of a lot of progress in this episode. I'm really happy with this. We have finished the port here in uh, Nina's Homsödre. And that will soon deliver stuff as soon as we can get some of these, um, yeah, more of the conveyors built. That is, it's a bit of a struggle, but I think we'll get there. Does, is this area covered? No, not totally. So that, that needs fixing. Let's put that one there. That'll just, just cover it, basically. And this will more than cover it. How about we do that? All right, so that's taken care of at least. And we have a lot of stuff getting produced. We have finished the port here in Fleming's Body Ham. And um, it's looking pretty good, except for the fact that it has no belts. Uh, that, that we can overlook because we need to just go over there and deliver the belts. Does it say how many we need? 469? I don't even know if that... See, it's like counting them as we're speaking here, putting the little icons and stuff. We also need a lot of of these accumulators here. I guess we could we could actually count this entire area if we do let's see if we do whitelist ghosts. Okay. Wait, is that tile ghosts or all ghosts? No, entity ghosts. We want those. Got to be careful which ghosts you're talking about. So, we can actually see here that we need 448 accumulators. Uh, 282 uh, belts, which we almost have. 77 mining drills, which we already have. We already have the um, the solar panels and the lamps. Well, we don't have the lamps. I should order those. How many accumulators do we have? 50. <laughs> That's not great. That's really not great. Uh, I suppose we can dedicate a slot to lamps. I think it's on the first one. There it is. Yep. 50 is enough. Okay, so that's what we got going on. This is a vast territory. This is tons and tons of stuff happening here. So I'm really happy with our progress today. Again, if you would like to support the channel, I really welcome all the comments, the clicking the like button. YouTube loves that because they think people really like the video because they're interacting. Um, I don't subscribe to that notion myself. Like when I watch a video, I watch it because I like to watch it. But I do click the like button and sometimes make a comment if I have something to say. You can also have nothing to say. That is okay. I heard from someone today saying, um, I don't know what to say, but my dog's named Odin and he's not very bright. <laughs> which made me laugh and I'm like, this is hilarious. So you can say anything, nothing, a single letter, an emote, whatever you like or nothing. It's up to you, but it does actually help the channel uh, gets kind of like, uh, you know, how you have the side panel videos. It gets out to more people um, if you do those activities. So, but anyway, I thank you so very much for being here. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.